What's something someone did that instantly made you lose your crush on them? I had an insane vegan girlfriend once whose mentally unstable sister told me she didn't want me to think we were friends. Her mom was nice, but the dad thought I was weird. Sorry for being high functioning autistic. Can't do anything about that. Their family had 13 cats, 3 birds, and 2 dogs. They believed in ghosts and would all sleep in the same bed when they thought the ghosts in their house were being extra uppity. They were the f***ing weird ones. Hated when my ghosts get all uppity. I used to get chased around and kissed when caught in kindergarten. One day, my face got crushed into the asphalt and I had scabs all over my forehead. The next day, the girl pointed at my face and said, E what's that on your face? I don't have a crush on you anymore. She was crazy. Girls were icky. I've never been happier to have a bloody face. A scab a day keeps the thoughts away and you've been making your face bloody ever since. Earning those red wings. Dude said something like, I can't be back quote just friends with girls. They all have crushes on me. Stopped crushing on him out of spite. This made me lol. You're my hero. Oh he wasn't that wrong then. Yeah she kinda proved his point dbh. First text conversation was full of I'm so random humor. It went sorta like this. Ha, huh, hey I'm me. Hey what's up? Ha, huh, I'm just eating juicy bread with my friend. Me, what is juicy bread? Ha, huh, yeah it's this type of bread you eat behind a dumpster in the apocalypse. Me, I see her, but you have to eat it before the cowboy rides up on his unicorn. I think I broke my teeth from clenching my jaw on that one. I remember being this person back from 6th 8th grade. Cringe. Whenever he talked to me, it was only about himself and how great he is. Better than any other boys. He's different from other boys. Was his name Gaston? No one e e e e brags like Gaston. Gatson you blew it. No one spells like Gatson. Had this happen to an ex as we walked down the street. She made fun of two 14 year old looking girls for playing music and singing walking down the street together. Right in their face. A full grown woman. Pathetic. I should vended it there, but thought it wasn't a deal breaker. Experience. There was this woman I thought I got along with really well. One day she gives me her number and asks me out that weekend. I call her later and she doesn't answer the phone or text, but sees me a couple days later and says she doesn't check her phone much. I confirm we still have plans and she says yes. That day I show up to meet her, she doesn't show. I call and she doesn't answer. I see her the next day, and she apologizes and makes plans again a few days later. I call again, before we are supposed to meet up, but this time from my other phone, which was a number she didn't know. She answers, I say who it is, and she hangs up on me. It really confused me. Like, if I asked her out, and she said yes, but didn't really want to go, that would be one thing. But she asked me out, and then ghosted me. This is after her being really friendly to me for several weeks, dropping hints, and so on. I'm really confused by it. She gets off on stringing guys along then crushing their hopes. Sadistic as f**k. Just plain evil. Didn't she have something better to do with her time? Them, hey lem show you this song I think you'll like me. Goes to pull out headphones them. Plays entirety of song on speaker at a loud volume while we are on a public bus. This is my own personal hell nope. It's more like all of our public hell now. She was super serious about astrology. So did what every horoscope told her, and it was mind numbing. My husband's ex GF dumped him, because her horoscope said it wasn't meant to be. I'm so thankful 12 wonderful years, and she messages him every once in a while in a sea of regret. She liked to talk about herself, I'm more of a listener, so, it was fine. During one such self-praise session at our date she was like, I don't know why but everyone just keeps ending up having a crush on me. Some even think they're in love I thought to myself, can I listen to nonsense like this all my life? Voice inside my head said, you don't even tolerate shit that's half this crazy from your family. Are you really asking the question? Voice inside my head said, do you have this guy's address so I can hire him? Yeah, that guy seems much more reasonable than my guy. Can I get his number? My guy doesn't even talk. Just watches me do dumb shit. One day we were at a party just sitting there with a large group of people. He points to another group nearby and makes fun of them. Why? Because they were in line to get some food. 
WTF is wrong with wanting to eat? Dude weebs need basic sustenance to survive. I feed off the despair of others. She had her dog put down before leaving for college because she didn't believe anybody would take as good of care of him as she did. It was an English sheep dog. She didn't see the irony in what she did. Of course, it was probably hard for her to understand me as I was pretty much screaming in her face. Internal fury of a thousand stars, Jesus Christ, that's the exact kind of woman that will drown her children in a bathtub. You'll be starting school soon, but we both know those teachers can't take care of you as well as I can, and I simply don't have the time for homeschooling, bathwater running. He'd insult things I liked and tell me how much better his opinion was, constantly. I had this experience once as well. Every time I mentioned how I loved a song that came on the radio, he'd turn the volume down. Every time I mentioned I like anything, he'd insult it. I turned him down for 6. Guess who got the insults that and I used to do this. It took a while for me to realize it was rude as f It came from me spending a lot of time on my own. Forming strong opinions with little to no input from peers. So when it came to experiencing people that disagreed with me, I was mind blown. I grew out of it, thank f She had been searching for a job for over 2 months while I helped support them. Then she turned down a job offer because the she felt her interviewer was rude to her because she was late to the interview. The most surprising thing about this is the fact that they offered her a job after she was late to the interview. My money is on it being a call center. I was thinking the exact same thing. Worked in a call center when I was 16. Can confirm they hire almost everyone who applies. Checked his social media and he had an album specifically meant for posting photos of hot bikini models, which was just weird. Then I started reading his bio and comments and other stuff and the way he wrote online came off like a 12 year old boy and he used a lot of emoticons. Instantly killed it and I didn't see him the same way after that. And he used a lot of emoticons. I feel the same, man. We're in this together. My crush knew I was attracted to her, but she made fun of my little sister, different last name, in front of me and then looked to me in approval. Only I make fun of my little sister to damn straight. I have scars on my legs from an autoimmune disease. My crush saw them on the first hot day of the year, he had transferred in the fall, and he, literally, leapt four seats back from me in disgust. All feelings gone. Never spoke to him again. What a weird coincidence. I have a couple of scars, because I'm not autoimmune. I got hit by a book. I wish I could upvote this more than once, you can it's called 20 accounts. Started arguing in favor of FGM. I mean, wow was that a fast crush skill. FGM. Female genital mutilation. WTF what argument can you possibly have in favor of that? Little girls line up down the road with their mothers, their mothers, excited for it. Excuse me what the Similar story. This girl chased me around the playground for a while. Our playground was the parking lot until I finally got tired and asked what she wanted. I was a small kid who played a lot of sports and was the human equivalent of PVC pipe. She proceeded to grab the back of my collar and a belt loop and throw me headfirst into the side of our brick wall gym. She got expelled. I got my first concussion at the age of 6. She wanted to bash her head in the whole time, or was it an accident? She was gonna tell me a secret, I said nope and started running. Then we ended up by the wall, and she just kinda ended up using me as a battering ram. Kids do the darndest things. What was the secret though? That the bricks had a message for you? Told me she wanted an old fashioned man that would pull out chairs for her, take her out to really high end restaurants, and pay for the whole bill, and whisk her off to foreign cities, and stay in uber expensive hotels. Did I mention she brought her kid with her? That's when you ask how she feels about being an old fashioned wife. I was in year 3, he was in year 6. He said a bad word and 7 year old me never forgave him. My crush disappeared instantly. FYI, the word was crap. That'll do it. Dodged a bullet there, honestly.